Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris gets a hero's welcome at the max after winning a track meet. Screech says he hasn't seen Zach run that fast since that time he stole a girl's bathing suit. Zach wants to hang out drinking milkshakes all day to celebrate, but Lisa says she has to go finish her family tree project for class. Lisa found out her great-great-great-grandfather was a slave who escaped and helped other slaves on the Underground Railroad. Slater found out his great-grandfather was a bullfighter. Zach has done zero research. Zach frantically rummages through a family chest of blankets and finds a picture of this Indian and says he vaguely remembers his mom telling stories of a distant Indian relative, which is all he needs to conclude, I bet this Indian could be my ancestor. And it would be great for his presentation. Screech can even help him and He'd be an Indian. And yes, he really says Indian four times in 45 seconds. Zach gives a wildly racist presentation in class the next day, drawing on Screech's face with red lipstick and handing him a children's toy while saying he comes from a long line of fierce warriors. When his teacher asks the name of his tribe, Zach mumbles, Cherokee. When she asks where they were located, he says the valley, past the freeway, probably Burbank. And even though Jesse went before Zach and admitted her family used to traffic slaves, right Right after Lisa said her family used to be slaves, Zach has the most offensive and shocking presentation of the day by a mile. Zach's teacher reprimands him for disrespecting his class as well as his ancestors. She gives him a second chance and tells him to contact her friend to do a little more research. Zach says he doesn't have time because he needs to train for the track championship. She says if he doesn't pass, he can't compete. When Zach goes to meet Chief Henry, the first question Zach asks is why is he wearing a Dodgers hat if he's an Indian? Zach asks Chief Henry if he learned to weave on the reservation. Chief Henry says he learned at UCLA. Chief Henry wants to talk to Zach about his photo, but Zach says he needs to leave five seconds after walking in and being racist because he has to go train. Chief Henry is confused and thought Zach was here to learn. Zach says he really just needs enough for a three-minute presentation. Chief Henry loads Zach up with ten books, and instead of opening a single one, Zach takes them to Principal Belding to complain these books are too heavy and he needs an extension on his project so he can race in the track meet. His teacher says he's had a month to do the research required for a three-minute speech and turns him down. When Zach's friends tell him they need him to pass so he can win the championship, Zach says he's doing his best while sitting in a loud restaurant full of distractions. Zach finds a picture of his relative in one of the books and brings it to Chief Henry. He tells Zach his ancestor was a proud chief named Whispering Wind who led his people. And just like Zach, his ancestors ran. Only they ran from the white man who was killing them off one by one. Chief Henry calls Zach Running Zach and gifts him a headband as a symbol of his tribe. Zach shows up to class the next day to deliver a less racist presentation that is somehow so much more racist than his first presentation. He discusses how sad his ancestors were about what the white man was doing to their people, because I'm sure this class project done solely to compete in a track meet would have filled their hearts with pride and joy. Zach calls Chief Henry to tell him he nailed the presentation. When he gets some bad news, and we hear this racist music that presumably plays inside of Zack's head. It turns out Chief Henry died, probably of shame, and Zack is so distraught about losing this guy he met two days ago, he decides he's unable to compete in the championship, and abandons his friends who are counting on him. So Chief Henry has to drag his dead spirit to visit Zack in the middle of the night as a ghost, because apparently all the lessons about Zack's ancestors being brave and strong were completely lost on his simple ass. And Zack shows up and competes in the track meet, and everyone applauds this racist idiot. Let's review. Zack Morris made an obscenely offensive presentation based on a random picture he found, was racist and rude to a stranger who was trying to help him, tried to weasel his way out of doing a little work for a three-minute presentation. And when he finally learned about what the white man did to his people, he did this to his people as a white man, then ditched his friends when they needed him most, forcing a dead guy to come back from the afterlife just to remind him of the heritage he instantly forgot. Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash!